Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, I'm on my lunch break at work and I was just kind of hanging out inside in the shop, goofing around, doing nothing. Um, so I decided I would put together a video real quick here and kind of show you what I've been working on. Um, so here I am sitting in my truck in the nice AC, um, keeping myself cool because it's a nice toasty 90, what do we got right now? Oh, 96 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 195% humidity too. So it doesn't feel very nice, but in the truck with the AC, <laughs> we're golden. Anyway, um, I kind of wanted to show you what I've been working on. Um, and for those of you, those few of you, maybe eight or nine or so that actually watched my rat poison config video, um, that is only video one. I am going to do a second one, whether you care or not, or whether anybody watches it. Um, <laughs> there will be a second one coming. I'm going to finish configuring it on camera and getting it working because it's a great window manager. I really enjoy it. And uh, I think some people uh, might get a get a kick out of it if they actually tried it. But um, that's not this video. That's for another day, probably this weekend or beginning of next week. Um, I'll be continuing that. But this is kind of just uh, what I've been tooling around with over the past day or so. Um, like I said, I'm not very proficient when it comes to shell scripting. Um, I do enjoy messing around in there, trying things out. Um, like I said in one of my previous videos, when I need something for my system, I don't always instantly go and look for a program to install. Um, if it seems like something I might be able to write a script for, then I go ahead and I give that a shot. Um, does that usually work? Nope because like I said, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not the best when it comes to shell scripting, but I'm learning. Um, and that's kind of the reason why I do that every time is because if I don't try to do it, then how am I gonna learn how to do it? So we give it a shot and usually it fails, but this time it didn't. Um, so I kind of wanted to just go over with you what I've been doing um, and just compare it to what I use currently. Which, if I'm being completely honest, I'll probably continue what I'm using currently over what I just wrote. Um, but I will have them both, and I think the one that I just wrote is actually is pretty slick. It's pretty simple and pretty basic, but I like it, and it's extensible, and it's just kind of a, a, a neat deal that uh, just kind of makes navigating around your system when you're looking for something specific um, a little easier. So, basically... A lot of my stuff right now I do with D menu scripts. Um, and the one I mainly use is for editing my configuration files. So if I launch that, it just brings up um, a D menu uh, list with all my um, configuration files that I have in there so far that uh, I want to be able to have quick access to. Um, it just brings those up and I can tag, I can type in whatever and it'll bring up whichever one and if I hit enter it launches my configuration file. So it's nice and easy. Um, I'm going to change what I want and then close it out. Um, this was a script written by, um, or I got it from uh, Derek Taylor. Uh, you might know him as DistroTube. Um, but I got this from him. Whether he wrote it or not, I don't know. I think he did, but I'm not 100% positive, so don't quote me on it. Um, but you can check him out too. Um, check out his GitLab um, and you can find it over there along with uh, quite a few other scripts. But um, I use this one mostly right now um, because it is just nice and easy. It pops up the menu, you type in what you want, and away you go. Um, but I was just, like I said, goofing around with shell scripting, trying to figure out different things, and um, I came up with something a little different. And if we go over to the uh, actual script here, you can see it's a little more extensive than a short little D menu script, but. Um, it's really simple basically and it's it was really pretty easy um, I did get hung up for I'm embarrassed to say for a couple hours um, night before last because I had left out uh, a set of these guys right here and it literally took me almost four hours to figure that out um, but hey like I said it's a learning process I'm learning <laughs> and um, it works now so that's that's a win in my book uh, whether it took me five minutes or five days at the end if it's working that's a win for me I know it'll be quicker next time um, so anyway it's just something that lists out um, a couple menus um, it's two layers deep and basically you have your main menu which lists the different types of configuration files or the different programs um, and then once you select that it actually lists out uh, based on your selection whether it's window managers um, terminals or bars right now um, like I said you can add as many 
as you want and as many different I'm gonna put some conkeys in there I think um, maybe my uh, NCMP CPP file you know just different things that you want you can continue adding on to this and it's, so it's pretty cool um, but basically what this does is if we go back to the main screen here um, I have it set up to run based on a key binding in a scratch pad so basically if I hit control E or excuse me alt E and I launch that I have a nice little selection menu here it's all in shell script it's all in the it all pops up in the terminal um, <clears throat> and say I want to edit one of my window managers. I just select number one, we hit enter, it pops up all of my different window managers. Um, like I said, we were discussing rat poison earlier, so if I wanted to do rat poison, just hit seven, we hit enter, there's my rat poison config, go through, edit what I want. If we quit out of that, then it brings me right back here. Um, and then we can choose a different one. So say then I wanted to go into awesome, I just hit one, hit enter, it brings up my awesome window manager. Uh, we can go back if I want to go back up a menu to the um, main menu uh, the window terminal emulator status bar menu up there um, then I could just do selection 10 which is back uh, we hit enter and then it prints out this prompt to remind you uh, what is on the main menu uh, and say that I wanted to go to terminals I could hit 2 hit enter it's gonna list out all my terminals um, Say I wanted to do kitty, so then we press two, we hit enter, it brings up my kitty config file, just kind of the same as the other one. Okay, that's good. Now we want to go into alacrity, so we hit enter, brings up the alacrity terminal uh, config file, hit quit. Okay, that's good. Now we want to go back again, so now we hit the option six because um, we can see right here on this menu back is option six. We hit enter, it takes us back to the first one. Now I also threw in a couple of um, fun things here. You know, see we have four options here, but say you entered six um, and you hit enter. Oh no, now we get a little bit of an insult. <laughs> so um, then it brings up the file again and, um, and you can pick, okay, so no, I wanted three, not six. And now I've got the bars. And again, if we hit three, um, it'll take me into my polybar config and we exit out of that. We're back to there again. And then we hit five, brings us back to the main menu again. Um, and then if we wanted to exit out of it, we hit quit. Uh, oops, excuse me. <laughs> we hit, see, I was at the first one. So we hit number four. We go back. Oh, why are we not quitting? I gotta finish. I gotta. Well, I gotta fix that. But uh, I haven't tried to quit out of one of those menus. So let's try going into one. Um, now we're in the config file menu, and then if I hit eleven to quit, now it tells me to peace out counts to two and then it closes out the menu so I gotta fix the one um, on the main menu the quit function on the main menu but um, other than that it seems to be working pretty cool um, you can go into all those different things like I said it's completely extensible you can add whatever configuration files you want to add to it um, you could instead of having configuration files on there you could run programs um, it, it, so it's just kind of a neat little menu system I know there's probably a hundred of them out there uh, more than that probably but um, I just gotta say, as I'm learning this stuff and I write this, I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, if you like it too, great. Feel free to use it. It's it's not up on my GitHub or GitLab yet, but it will be shortly. Um, uh, and yeah, uh, feel free to take it, use it, change what you want on it, whatever. Um, I don't care, but um, I just thought I'd like to share that with you. Um, I, I am also, um, if we bring up a different scratch pad here, uh, I am kind of turning that into, I'll show you what I got kind of goofing around with right now um, I've I'm changing that into something for my kids which my daughter played around with last night and she kind of thought it was funny um, I'm changing it now to where instead of accessing files and stuff I'm turning it into a little shell script quiz um, and basically you can see I've got one question in there right now or two questions excuse me two questions in there right now and they really don't mean anything I'm just trying to get the functionality correct of correct answers and incorrect answers um, but if we run test quiz you can oh, so I've been changing stuff so I tried to echo something out at the beginning and that's not working but anyway this will work so if you had three times five uh, or actually let's go back into that um, let's control C and we will go into them and then we're going to what do we have oh yeah we put chef in there I don't want chef in there that was what the problem was. I was trying to randomize the answers, but that didn't work. And so now, now if we run it, we've still got, oh, because I have to close out. Sorry, hon. Okay, so we still got something going on with 
Um, well, let's go in and take a look and see if we can't figure out what's going on, shall we? So we've got the questions, the answers, and do, 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 do. I had it piped into eSpeak, which was right on that one. So let's see something here. What was the problem? It was saying line 8, line 9, line 10, and line 11. Test quiz sh command not found. 8, 9, 10, and 11. So, what do we got going on here? Anyway, I'll figure that out on another time. Um, I don't have time to continue goofing around now. I am, like I said, I'm at work on lunch, but um, uh, we'll figure it out here. I wonder. What was the... So, do in 0, 4, 10, 15, echo, no, 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 yay. Sorry, I'm just thinking all out here. Okay, well, we'll, uh, yeah, no, it still doesn't want to work. So, if we do 1, what is 5, minutes, 2, 3, 4, yeah, it's not going to, anyway, I'm just kind of goofing around with it, going to change it into a quiz game for my kids so they can play around with it. Um, obviously, I did something to screw <laughs> screw it up and uh, but anyway um, why not if, if you can see what I go through when I'm trying to learn the shell scripting there and uh, like I said I'm, I sometimes take a good long time to figure out the problem sometimes it solves itself right in front of my eyes I don't know but anyway like I said the, the menu uh, the menu script I, I think is kind of cool I'm gonna keep it around for a while um, by far obviously using the menu and just going X monad enter is a lot quicker than going, okay, let's see here, so I want window manager, and then I want xmonad, so, you know, it's a little quicker using the D menu, so I'll probably still use that, I just thought this was kind of cool. Um, anyway, um, thanks for checking it out, um, if you like it, like I said, it'll go up on my GitHub, GitLab pages, um, other than that, yeah, you guys have a great rest of your day, and God bless.